Next part here is this. If I make you do a sectional camera, do you know how to do this now? Nah? It is exactly the same as setting up the sectional perspective camera. So can we do it in a more efficient way to create it? How? Can you select the sectional perspective camera? And we are going to clone it. Control V to clone this camera as a copy. Select the sectional perspective camera. Okay. Control V one time only. Control V one time. So clone it as a copy. Before you do anything else with it, I want you to change the name and call it section camera. So we know what we are doing. Clear? Okay. After this is done, then you press OK. Before we do anything wrong now though, alright, here's what I want you guys to do. Uh, change this view, change this top right hand corner view to under cameras. Do you now see section camera here now? Because you clone it already and you clone it and rename it properly successfully, you should be able to see section camera here. No? Yes, right? Do it, change it, get into that view here now. Can you make very, very sure you are in the section camera view at this point now? All right? Can or not? Okay? Here's what we do uh, next. If you go to the selection bar here, can you select only the... Let me show you another trick how to select things. Do you see the section and the target selected at this point? Can you just select the section camera alone? Click on this alone. I magnify it in case you cannot see. By default, you should have your section and target, your camera and target selected, correct or not? So I want you to just click on something else, then click on section camera now. So you end up selecting only the camera. Can Okay, very very simple. Huh? After this is done, right? Can you go to modify tab? Make sure you have selected the section camera. Make sure. Now, then I want you to check where my mouse is. Huh? I want you to click on autographic projection. Now, does that sectional perspective become a section? Are we good? Very good. Shift Q it, render it. Okay, can or not? This part can be done. After you have done this, what has happened is look, we have created the render for the plan and we have created the render for the section already. Of course, this will save us a lot of work, although we still need to touch it up a little bit, yeah? So, what is next, actually? Let me move on with the lesson and show you. Actually, I don't want you to practice on this part. Huh? There's no, no need to, okay? Now, what? Save it as a... Save it as 04, section camera. Wow. All right. Once this part of the work is done, you have prepared. You have prepared what you call the base image for preparing rendered sections and plans. So that saves us a lot of work. After this is done, you simply PDF your AutoCAD drawings, right? You know, you always have to PDF before you print, isn't it? So you PDF it. And inside Photoshop, you rasterize that PDF. You see something like this. When you see something like this, you will then overlap, 
or underlap your plan below. Underlay it. Then you overlap the plans that you have drawn from AutoCAD on top of this. And voila, the job is done. Okay? So there you go, uh, this part.